How's it going YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Hauler here. Bringing another oil filter video comparison for you for the uh, Perlator series um, for the 5, 9, and 6, 7 uh, Cummins. Um, made this video out of pure uh, curiosity because um, there wasn't a video out there for any uh, diesel oil filters um, and I wanted to make it. So I went out and bought the stuff myself. Um, so first off, the uh, Perlator Boss costed me um, I think 17 bucks. The Perlator one in the middle costed me uh, 16 50 and the cheap one, the Perlator, I think it's classic or whatever it's called, um, actually costed me more. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, it actually costed me 20 bucks for the worst one of the series. Um, so just th that alone, don't buy it. But when we get into this quality, um, you're going to see why you don't want to buy it. Um, for, um, all these filters, of uh, uh, Perlator tests them at 20 microns. So their rating, if it says 99%, it's rated at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. Okay, now I don't know if that's absolute or if that's nominal. It doesn't say, but it just says um, it is rated at 20 microns, 99% efficient. So, um, or 96, whatever it is. Okay, so first off, let's start with the cheap one. The Perlator L4... 5335 is rated at 96.5%, um, so terrible, um, and it is uh, only rated for 5,000 miles. Uh, so first off, I, I would just avoid this filter altogether like I've already said. Um, the one thing with all these casings that I will say that I really liked was the flexibility and the ability to bounce back. So whenever you do these, you know, you can see where I stick it in the vise to cut them. Most of the other filters out there, I have to take uh, strap wrenches and I have to straighten them back out a little bit to be able to get the filter out. With these, they all bounce back really well um, or they had really good um, strength to not collapse as much. So that was something I, I personally really liked on a side note. Um, but starting with the cheap one here, um, you'll see immediately that the quality control um, of this one is a little concerning considering I have half of my filter or about a third, I have pleats all over the place. Um, the pleat spacing is absolute garbage on this one. Um, I don't know if this is how they standardly do it or if I just got a, a, a bad day. But um, that's a little concerning right off the start. Um, I will say, though, on all these, even the cheap one, the glue jobs on these filters are fantastic. Very good glue jobs. Um, not, not glues not all over the filter media, not bulging out. Good job on all the gluing from uh, Perlator. So I will give them that, even on this cheap filter with the bad spacing. Um, and this string that they do is like a, a attempt to be like a Caterpillar, I guess. Um, so um, not, not my favorite, but I get it. It serves a purpose for what they can do without getting sued. Um, and the one thing I was surprised, though, was even on this cheap filter, they even have the metal reinforced uh, pleat. Um, I was actually surprised with that. A lot of cheap filters don't have that. Or I should say low-end brands, I should say, okay? Uh, moving on to the top. Um, standard drain holes. All, all the drain holes are the same size. I know that sounds funny, but I've looked at some other filters, and you have different size holes, um, which is even more concerning. But um, it looks like you got about three, four threads on this one. Um, when you move up to the next one, it goes to about one more thread. And then when you get to the boss, it goes up to about one more. So you get about one more thread for each level of purchase. Um, the standard leaf spring. They, they all have the standard leaf spring across them. And if you know anything about me, you know I hate leaf springs. I was really disappointed when I tore apart the boss and found a leaf spring at the bottom. I think it is a terrible thing to do to an oil filter. It's just... it's I, I Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I think it kind of loses a lot of filter... Uh, filter props and filter quality if they just go cheap with a leaf spring so um that's just on a side note though moving on to the perlator one um i got the ones with the new casing i guess now they started um they have this nice grip on them like what kind of what fram does um if you buy fram's garbage but um the it's nice from you get oil on them you can actually grab them by hand a little bit better um, so that, that is, uh, something that I didn't even know was a thing until I ordered it. Um, the one I ordered was actually the standard blue, like slick casing. So, um, that was a nice surprise. Um, but moving on to the filter on this one, um, obviously you can see the quality control is a lot better on this one. Still a little messed up near the, um, near the, uh, metal reinforcement point, but the glue job's great. Um, it has their sketchy string on it that I don't like. 
Um, but the filter material is definitely a lot better. It's a, uh, I think it's a, according to the box, it says it's a high synthetic density, high density synthetic blend on this one. Um, so it's a really good, um, nice, like, you know, a 50, 50 blend of really good and just normal. Um, but yeah, this filter is a little bit heavier than this one. Um, so obviously that usually for the most part means it's better, not always, but for the most part, definitely do like this, uh, the red gasket. Um, I assume it's a silicone gasket. I can't really read half the box because it's in like foreign languages. Um, but I know it has a silicone anti drain back valve and I can, I'm going to take a guess that this is a silicone gasket. Um, so that's, it's always nice. Um, that's something that I'm a fan of standard leaf spring. Like I already said, moving on to the boss. Okay. Um, actually, let's take a step back. So this one is rated, um, the Perlator one is rated 99.9% .9 um, efficient at 20 microns. Um, so uh, I don't know if that's absolute or nominal. Um, they don't say, but it does say that. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty solid number to go off of. Um, the Boss casing is obviously the thickest, just like they always claim. Um, it, it is thicker than the other ones. Still a great, great flexibility, great rigid stuff. Um, the filter on this one is completely synthetic. Um, I'm a fan of buying full synthetic filters. Um, they obviously are the best at trapping everything. Um, the quality control on this one is obviously the best of them all. They got rid of the sketchy string. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, no complaints with the filter. I mean, it looks like a great filter. Um, moving on to the top end, they went back to the black gasket over the red gasket. Um, and look at these oil, um, uh, the, uh, intake holes are like, uh, oval rectangle, basically like an oval, um, essentially. And, um, that's something that I've never actually seen before on an oil filter. When I've looked, I've never really looked that hard, but on this, it was kind of intriguing to me. Um, so that's something that's kind of cool, a little bit different, um, has the most threads, like I said earlier, and it has the terrible leaf spring. So, um, and it is rated at 99% plus. Um, so what that means, I don't know, but it said it's rated for 15,000 miles. Obviously I would never run a vehicle that long on oil, but, um, yeah, it, it's rated good. Um, and definitely if I had to pick any of the three, I would obviously pick the boss. I always buy the best oil filters, but, um, for your bang for your buck, I mean, um, so the boss only cost me like 50 cents more than this one. So for that cost difference, I would just buy the boss. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. I mean, thank you for watching. Um, these, these filters, uh, uh, per later is known as the inventor of the oil filter. I mean, they, they, they make great filters, um, even on their low end side. I mean, that's a better filter than what I've seen with a lot of filters out there minus that crap. But, um, um, other than that, I mean, the, the you know, it's a tried and true filter, but uh, I would either buy the one or the boss if you're going to buy one. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Any comments, questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. Thank you.